I'm going to get back to that story, Shunny. Just, just you listen to Boomer Great One. He's going to tell you about how it was back in the olden days, back, back before fire, back when we walked uphill for everything. In fact, we didn't even have a concept of downhill because there was no downhill. Everything was uphill. We thought that was normal. We didn't even have a word for it because there was no alternative. It was uphill all the time. You just need to, to reach down and, and grab yourselves by your bootstraps and, and pull yourselves up, shunny. Because when I was your age, I bought a house for $25,000. And I made that money on my paper route and bussing tables at the local cafe. And if I could do it, you can do it too. You just need to, to reach down and pull yourself up and, and just buckle up. Buckle up there, buckaroo. God, I hate boomers. So uh, I had the observation, the epiphany. Cappy is getting old. Do you know you get old? You know it only goes one way. <clears throat> and uh, I pay attention to my finances, obviously. And the irony is that for my entire life, I've always been against Social Security and Medicaid. Medicare, Medicare, Medicare. Medicaid is for the poor people who have too many children. Eh, why am I poor? Other people pay. Medicare is for the boomers. We didn't save up enough money for not only retirement, but their health care because they thought that they were going to be old. Come on, baby, light my fire. They'll be young forever. Come on, baby, light my fire. And then have to save up for a new spleen or whatever the hell boomers do. Um, and if you look back in my day and my writing, there should not be what's called a social pension. That's the overall categoric term used to describe in the United States social security. I think in Australia, they call it superannuation. Uh, I don't know what they call it in Europe. But where basically you tax and enslave the young kids to pay for the old people. That's it. That's, that's all that is. And, and it's, it's brass tax, unadulterated economic form. <clears throat> you are taxing young people to pay for old people. Now, I've been against it because on principle, it's stupid. Uh, everyone should be supporting themselves. You should save money to take care of yourself. But I am almost 50. And looking at the numbers, you know, I've never planned that I'd have Social Security. But, uh, and, and you will always just, you know, you'll always, there will always be welfare checks. There will always be EBT cards. There will always be a Social Security check. The question is, how much will you be able to buy with it? I don't want to bore you with supply side economic. But for you youngins, you're starting to notice that things are a little bit more expensive. Have you noticed that inflation thing? Da, da. Anyway, so I'm looking at it. I'm like, oh, dang, that's right. I'm going to get some form of a Social Security check. And it dawned on me just how much shit. Literal accusations of belonging to a party that advocates genociding people based on the type of people they are. Guy with the funny mustache, right? Because I was for things like, not no joke, balanced budgets, low taxes, limiting immigration so that wages might go up for poor people, STEM trade so that we can build things that we need. All this stuff liter literally called the guy with the funny mustache and I advocating wiping out entire uh, <clears throat> groups of people because I was I had Ward Cleaver Republican type politics. And this is more towards the millennials because they were, eh, I guess the boomers were there too, but the millennials were the most know it all, sanctimonious. You Zoomers were too young. You were, you were, you were little toddlers at the time. But my God, the 19 year old millennial knew all. They knew all. They had a full year of college education, and they knew everything and everything that was wrong. They're going look at um, <clears throat> who's their spokesperson? They got Down syndrome. What's that gal's name? Uh, Greta Thunberg. Like that was there. You go. They knew everything. If you didn't agree with them, you were for genocide of various groups of people and wearing funny mustaches. But I'm looking at it now, and. I'm I'm getting old, and it dawned on me 
fine. Okay, I saved up enough money. I'm, I'm on track for my own savings. I'll be all right. I don't have kids or anything like that. But especially if I don't have kids, I, I realize that with that Social Security check coming in, if it's inflated away, I'm not going to be able to have the boomer lifestyle that I'm entitled to because we're all entitled. Remember, well, that's the politics you are. Remember the <clears throat> remember Barack Obama, you millennials, just like, oh my God, he was the savior. You fantasized about him before you went to bed. You're just, oh my God. Remember the hope and change? How's that working? How are you doing now? How's that whole free shit entitled thing? Anyway. I thought, you know what, millennials, and to a lesser extent, Zoomers, you're all right. You were all correct. And I was wrong. I should be entitled. That I'm entitled. And I think that I am entitled. My Social Security check isn't going to go far enough. Right? I got enough money saved up where I'll, I'll be able to eat and, and enjoy life, and I'm not going to starve or anything. But I want boomer treatment. I want to have a boat that I use like twice a year. I want a second and third house that I won't live in. I want, I want, uh, I want a Corvette. Oh, isn't that boomerific? Like the most boomers thing ever boomered would be the old, typically white guy. Yeah, it's pretty much a white domain thing. White guys got a lock on that. Old white guys with big, poofy, thick hair, right? <clears throat> and then they got white socks up to the calves, and they wear like I don't know docker shoes. They go on the Corvette. Cl I want a Corvette. And I want to use Corvette. I want a brand new one. I want one of the mid-range engine ones. And you Zoomers and millennials, I, I looked at your labor force participation rates, the number of hours you're working per week. That's down. That's down. You guys need to live up to your own politics that you voted for. You guys love Democrats, right? You love socialism. You, you love paying tax. You vote for it. I think you guys, you just, you know what? Two things. You didn't do it right and you didn't do it enough. All right. You just don't have enough socialism. I think, what is hanging on? I think it's like 15.6%. What is social? What is that? Um, 6.12.4%. All right. So 12.4% goes to you guys pay 12.4%. Now you're going to look it up and you're going to be all spurgy. Actually, actually, it's only 6.2 because the employer pays it. He play, The employer pays half and then the employee pays half. I'm like, yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense because the employer wouldn't just pay you that money. Like, isn't that potential money you could have been paid? You're paying 15.4%. You need to pay more. You need to pay more than a full eighth, uh, even seventh. You need to pay more than one in every seven dollars to me. Okay. I right now with the check that you guys are paying the taxes for, I'm I'm gonna get I'm only gonna get a sensible car. I'm only gonna get like a Honda Accord. All right. I there's no boats in my future. There's no no McMansion in, in the Hamptons or what the hell people on the East Coast go. You young people need to work more and pay my well, okay. You know what? I take it back. You don't have to work more. You just got to pay a higher percentage out in taxes for me. And I thought, and I was wrong. I was wrong. You young kids with your two years of prescribed college uh, courses, you knew more about how society should run. And you were right this entire time. The, the young people need to pay more taxes. You need to pay a lot more. And oh, by the way, that's just social security. I need health care. You young kids don't use it. You don't need it. I want to just sit on my fat ass when I join the Corvette Club. I want to stuff my face with steak. I want steak, by the way. I don't want this chicken or fish shit. I want steak. Prime cuts of steak. I'm going to get some alcohol, some high-end scotch, and I want you guys to pay for it. I, I earned this. Look, your mother carried you in her womb for nine months. Never mind she got divorced and I wasn't around to begin with. We brought you into this world. And by God, you should appreciate that and pay more in taxes. And I want steak and I want to eat whatever I want. And then I want to join the Corvette Club and I want to get a boat. I want to get a house. And I need you to pay for my medical expenses because I'm obese and I got the diabetes. Right? I want you, you all need to pay more. It should be up to... 
what 15.4 percent you should be you should be tossing in another five percent i 20 percent of your income should come to me and i'm glad that you agreed with me this entire time i'm glad to keep voting democrat i'm glad to keep voting for higher taxes I apologize for being wrong all those years about letting young people keep their own money and being able to afford houses or maybe their own health care, maybe their own children. Uh, thank God you kids went to college and knew better. I'm glad you went and you spent $100,000 on your degree in social work and that you had a bunch of professors who all had, I don't know, I think they worked two days in the real world and told you how the real world worked. I'm glad you listened to the girl with Down syndrome from Sweden and told you all about the crises and all that. You guys were right. You were right. This you voted for Barack Hussein Obama. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> hope and change, change and hope. He was a he was a very charming man. Very charming. He was a great speaker. Those are the qualities we need in a leader. Never mind. He also worked a hot, a hot six months in the real world. <laughs> you were right. You were right this entire time, and I was wrong. I just wanted to point out what a man I am, admitting I was wrong. What is this balanced budget shit? What is this terms limit shit? What is this limited government spending? I, what is this low taxes? You're right. All the problems are solved through higher taxation. We just didn't tax enough. And so I want to say I'm with you young Zoomers and millennials who just, you, you guys and the Democrats and leftist politics in general, you guys were right. I was wrong. And, and I think it's time now that we all agree we jack up your taxes because right now, if we were to add Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid, if you care to look at the budget, but you don't have to because it's just, why would you? I think at least it's a it's 20%. I see a quarter of your income. I, I Right? If we just taxed a little bit more, I think that would bring about our little utopia. So I think we should take one in every four of your dollars and give it to the old timers like me. And I think you all now... I know you care about socialism very much. I know you really, this is like your religion to, to many of you. <clears throat> I think if you all went back and got master's degrees, so you could make even more money, and we have progressive income tax rates too. So if you could get above 100000 so we could take a third, because you're, now you're a rich pig, right? You, better, you need to give back to the community. You benefited unfairly. I think anyone over $100,000 needs to pay at least 33% of their income to old timers like me. And uh, I think we'll finally get, we'll get, we'll get this country back on the road, right? I think, I think that's what, and then I could go get my boats, the house I don't need. I could join the Corvette club and I can eat steak and other unhealthy food. Lots of booze, lots of booze. And none of this fucking Jack Daniels shit. None of this Jack Daniels. I'll go back to drink and I'm not drinking now, but once you start paying your fair share in taxes, then I could finally afford the high quality shit. Like, what is a high quality whiskey? Jack Daniels? No, that's a bourbon. <clears throat> what is a? Would be a, I could have. I could afford the Japanese whiskeys. I could afford some scotches. I could get some McKellen twelves. Uh, I could get Lafroy ten. Those are good scotches. All right, and uh, I'm. I'm just saying. I'm glad we're finally on the same page. I have seen the light. I was wrong. You were right. And we need the young people to pay more in taxes. So there you go. What we got for Super Chats. How many people, do you all agree with me? Right? We're all, right? How wrong were we? I'm just, my entire writing, book writing, podcasting career was completely wrong. I'm sure I'm glad you Zoomers and Zillennials and Zoomers are here to save the world. I'm glad you're going to save it. Nonstop, Dre, two bucks. But they say kids should sacrifice for the elder. We brought them into this world. Your mom, your poor mother carried her, you around in her womb for nine months. Spat you out, sent you off to daycare and had the teachers raise you. You might have seen your mom. Who's this strange lady? Oh, that's your mom. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was raised by this cabal of other middle-aged women. Like, yeah, those are your teachers and daycare workers. That, that one you see the least is your mom. Oh, who's this other guy walking around? Oh, that's your dad. Why do I only see him once a year? Because oh, he got to go to court. And we don't need no, don't need no man, right? Right, Zoomers and millennials, right? You don't need no man. That's, that's what the girls in your generation, you don't need no man, right? Takes a village. JJ Sefton, five bucks. Chappie, look up, look it up. <clears throat> the Nazi party was 90% men, 10% women at the beginning. At the end, it was like 50-50. I wonder if there's a correlation there. 
Uh, I don't. Uh, maybe I guess. I I don't know if that has any statement about sexual dynamics. I think it's just men usually initiate the stuff and. Well, what is that? The thirties, right? So there might have been oh, women aren't allowed, and then women came around later. I, I don't really care to study the Nazi Party. I, I really don't. Maybe as a means as to what not to do. Nonstop Dre two bucks. Cappy's Operation Evil gift officially begins. No, I just I here Dre. Here's what's funny. Here's what's so fucking funny. The young dumb kids of America. And whatever ge generation Alpha is coming up with, they will be brainwashed to be Democrats by their teachers and their parents and the media, everything else. They're going to vote to ensure that Social Security remains. They will. Because they, for someone to come in and to cut Social Security would require someone more bombastic and ballsy than even Trump. Trump did, by the way, Trump didn't do shit, just, just to let you know. Not from an economic standpoint. No, 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 there was there was no cutting of the budget under Trump. It's going to take a a someone no one's going to vote for, no one. And these these young people are going to vote to enslave themselves further. They just don't realize it yet because they're all about the fifis and the feel feels. And then all of a sudden, the millennials might be waking up a little bit. They might be waking up and realize that Obama did fuck them in the ass. Like, hi, wait a second. He said the popular thing to make me vote for him. This presumes anyone would take a look at the federal budget and learn just this, 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 the most introductory levels of econ lessons of economics. About things like inflation that would just do if, if young people could just understand how inflation works. And it's not just the Republicans and the Senate and Trump and the evil corporations. If they just took a second to figure that out, they'd be like, holy shit, wait a second. But they're not. And that's fine by me. They will. And obviously, to this day, I will vote for the party that has the highest chances of getting rid of Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid and all that other shit. Even though technically by this age, it does go against my best financial interest because it's what's best for the country. Plus, I too am sick and tired of paying 15.6% of my income to old people who are still alive today. But it's it, the Operation Evil. I don't have to lift a finger. They will do it themselves. They will do it themselves. Bodhisattva. B Bodhisattva. Five bucks. Cappy, my girlfriend asked me to thank you for giving advice about leaving her boomer boss job and offering her consulting services. He paid out the ass for her. Why did he? Did uh, Well, that's good. Sounds like she's making more money. So he counteroffered? She's like, I'm doing my own thing. Bye. And then he's like, oh, no, no. Just kidding there, JL. Then he offered her, like, actually, a, what, a, a living salary? Or she left, had a consulting service, and now she contracts out to her former boss at a higher higher uh, wage? I, I In either case, I'm glad it's working out for her. That's good news. Uh, no, just tell her, make sure she pays her Social Security taxes, okay, Bodie? I need, I, this, I'm only going to get a used boat. I want no used boat or used Corvette. I want the brandest of newest boats and Corvettes so I could get a pompadour of silver white hair and hang out with the old white guys with, with calf socks. God damn it, that's the American dream. Anton clogs two bucks, but Medicare and Medicaid should pay for everything. They should. They, they will. <clears throat> There's young people. God, right there, that's like the epitome. Well, yeah, obviously old people use the majority of health care. They're old. That's when you get the majority of them in the young. Oh my God. This was, like you literally cut your veins out to bleed out money to pay for Democrat policy. So they could get elected because it's popular. In in some ways I feel bad and sympathetic towards you know younger generations, Zoomers or millennial it doesn't matter because you were so thoroughly and comprehensively lied to predominantly by your teachers and professors. But at no point in time did you did it, especially in the age of the internet, to look up the budget to see where the money went? <clears throat> Nonstop trade, two bucks. Pfizer probably has a patent on it. Hashtag Operation Evil. Jeremy Lewis, five bucks. Pushing trendy beliefs as a way to cover up evil while decreasing competition in their fields. Yeah, it's, um, I have a, it's not an upcoming book, but I do have a book 
in my mind and on the docket. <clears throat> and one of the things uh, I will be talking about is how very, uh, unless you are a truly independent minded person, you were 100% programmed as a, as a child into adulthood to be a certain way through the state, through the schools. And it did start out a conscious way, uh, just ended up being that way. But now I believe it is very conscious and especially uh, corporations. I don't mean like the evil corporations, man. No, you are trained to not only vote away your money, consequently your freedom, you're also hoodwinked and trained to work as hard as possible. And that's where the corporate angle comes in. So you could get material stuff. Uh, that could be cars for men, but a, a perfect example is look what they do with young women. Uh, I mean, look at you girls. The, think about how much less money governments make and corporations make if you girls were to stay at home, raise kids, manage the budget, and take care of the house. Think about how much less stuff would be purchased, how much, how much less labor would be in the market, therefore wages would be higher. I mean, you want to look at, I'm not kidding. You want to look at, everyone's brainwashed, by the way, but the most uh, epitomal, shining example of how Americans get brainwashed to essentially become, slaves don't work hard. They only work hard enough not to get beaten. But if you can hoodwink people into thinking that they're in their own best interest, they're going to bust their asses off. And look at just, women are slaves. Women are slaves now. They... Age 18, they sign away a $100,000 loan to teachers and professors, so they transfer the wealth there. The banks, which technically is the federal government now because banks are out of student loans, okay, but the government now accruing interest. Now you girls got to, and boys too, but you got to work to pay the interest, right? Then you, what do you girls, what's the most important thing in a woman's life? Husband? <laughs> oh, it was funny. Children, ha! Oh, 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 stop it! You're killing me, man. You're killing me. No, it's things like fucking shoes and hammy. Get your bag. Well, those are pricey. Travel, that's expensive. Well, that benefits go, but they all think that they're oh, I'm winning. Oh, I'm so amazing and great. It's like all you did. It, it's a brilliant thing what they did. They managed to convert you into slave without you knowing it and give you this. False goal so that you would bust your fucking ass off for it. Whereas if you just, I, I'm not, you make your own choice, but to contrast, to contrast, contrast, oh, what's her name? And she's a highly successful woman. I'm not even criticizing her. I'm just pointing out to give you a dichotomy. You're like, oh, compare and contrast. Um, Sheryl Sandberg, former COO of Facebook. Look at the tremendous amount of production and wealth that woman created she spent it all i'm sure she saved and invested and i'm not even saying these this is something to be shamed upon i'm saying look at how much work that woman did how much taxes she generated how much income and and money spent on corporation which is you know buying a house furnishing it whatever i don't know material and she bought she has a family but yeah that was outsourced compared to uh, a, you know, some gal graduates from high school, works a little bit as a dental hygienist, and then stays at home, raises the kids. Look at how much more income and wealth Cheryl Sandberg created compared to a stay-at-home mom. And and there, there's pro. I mean, Cheryl Sandberg, a highly productive woman, no doubt about it. And it, and to some extent, certainly did benefit society. But view it from a corporate banking and government standpoint. Who generated you the most amount of money? Sandberg, obviously. Who had a better life actually raising her kids? Maybe, I don't know, sucking her husband's dick and having a little fun time in bed. The stay-at-home wife. <clears throat> who, who wasted their lives? That's a better philosophical question. Who, had, who enjoyed their lives more? Oh, well. Uh, JJ Sefton, five bucks. Um, oh, wait, did I... Yeah, JJ Sefton, five bucks. We would have to have a literal insane person voted in office, and then that guy would have to pinpoint what he could change and then change it. It would require, um, not to break, it would require someone like me who just 
doesn't care about being popular. I walk in like, we're cutting that, we're cutting this, we're cutting that. You would also have to have a Congress come along and do it. Now, there's a way, there's some ways to do it. Like, I think both Democrats and Republicans could get together political solutions that are agreeable to both parties because I think they're quite apolitical, like getting rid of the income tax and replacing it with the sales tax. <clears throat> that would be something that you could you could do. Um, phasing out Social Security, if you sold it correctly to young people, like, look, this isn't working, this isn't sustainable. I would just first thing send the entire United States military to the borderline. And when crosses it, they're shot. <clears throat> then there'd be a couple people who are shot. Then it'd be, oh, I said, don't, I told you not to do that. And then guess what? People would stop crossing and then, oh, that would be the hard part right there because a bunch of liberal white Karens would be, oh my God, you're protecting the borders. Oh. Nonstop trade, two bucks. Great one podcast is 10 out of 10. Angry Cappies, hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> he's, I guess he's a little angrier than me. Nonstop trade, two bucks. Cappies next book, Speed Up the Decline, coming soon. I don't have to. They'll speed it up. Don't worry. They'll speed up the decline. Not me. Body Sattva, five, uh, two bucks. She's a six figured gal. She pays her share. Good for her. God bless. God bless the both of you there, Bodie. That sounds like a cool gal. And I'm not slamming on her because but if you guys want to have kids, go have kids. You know, make sure she's doing it to make herself happy. And um, But that's great. Glad, glad to hear it. <clears throat> Reverse Lee, two bucks. Pay more taxes. You don't need all that money. Right. I mean, come on. Like, <laughs> I, the, they're in... There's like the fog of war. There's also the fog of economics. These young people have no idea what's going on because they've been purposely uh, confused by what they've been told. I got to imagine the millennials, like after doing exactly everything you've been told for four decades and you don't have shit all to show for it. Are you starting to ask questions now? Are you starting to say, hey, why are things, why are things so expensive? Have you, have you said, and it's, or do you just believe, oh, it's the Republicans, it's Trump, it's Reagan. Oh, well, the, the, you maybe think that maybe the people who are wrong about everything else in your life, you know, the teachers, the professors, the guidance counselors, your therapists, the media, your parents, do you think maybe now is the time to actually be what you claim to be in your 20s, edgy, and to question it? Oh, well, it's not my life that's ruined. At least I'm not confused. That was the one thing. I'm not confused. Right. I was confused until my early 30s. And then when that federal, but I didn't see the federal agent. <clears throat> but then when the guy came in and said, hey, do you got those files? I'm like, yeah, why? He says, well, the feds are here and they're investigating the guy. I'm like, oh, you're wrong? Oh, I was right? Oh, fuck all you boomers and bankers. So it took me a while too, but I figured it out inevitably. But at no point in time do I like, oh, my God, the Democrats are so right. I have to thank my teachers for that. The teachers, oh, my God, how do you not know the teachers are your enemy? How, how did you all, like, the people that like school, how did you not know that wasn't a racket by, like, the second day of kindergarten? Yeah, we got to go here for 13 fucking years, graduate, and you're still not employable. Oh, well, now you got to go to college for four more years. It's going to cost you your left testicle. Well, they must know what they're doing. Jeremy Rivera, two bucks. I wish I could opt out of the Social Security tax and keep my money. Yeah, I think most people do, at least on my team. But the Zoomers, they go, oh, you do know, Zoomers, Zoomers, you do know there's a political party that it would take a long time that have to be in power for quite some time to gradually nudge the, the oil tanker of the U.S. economy and, and U.S. Uh, <clears throat> the, the political view of the American people would have to slowly be nudged to say, hey, we might want to not even eliminate Social Security, but scale it back or increase the retirement age. Look what happened in France where they tried to increase, I don't know, 62 to 65. <laughs> Riots. I'm so glad I'm going to be dead in 30 years. So glad. <clears throat> Drake, two bucks. Do you approve of subscription pacemakers for elders? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you go run with it, Drake. You go run with it. Generation Apollo, five bucks. 
Gen Z and Alpha will also be brainwashed into voting for amnesty for all illegals and then wonder why their wages are staying. Yeah, why housing costs? I, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. You have adult children educating the children. You have teachers educating the children. I, you're right, at Generation Apollo. And they're going to wonder. And then anybody says, hey, maybe we should kick them out. You know, may, all for like legal immigration and <clears throat> maybe we're full. Maybe this is a bad policy. Oh! You're you're the guy with the funny mustache. No, limiting immigration is not the same as killing an entire group of people. It just isn't. JJJS, two Canadians, slavery without bars, and they co-signed. Yep, outstanding. You got it, JJJS. You got it. They voted for all oh, the women, especially. I'm going to go into debt. I'm going to vote for whatever. I'm going to go go into I'm going to go into debt for an education. I'm going to go into debt for consumer item for eight thousand dollar pair of shoes and uh, an apartment in New York. I'm going to go into debt for all of it. And you're going to brag about it on the internet, live your best life, whatever the fuck it is. And then I need to just do a little bailout. Why won't a man save me? They're going to be the most uh, of all the true victims. Uh, at their own hand, I might add, um, it's going to be the women because they were probably the most lied to about the most important things in their lives. And man, look what look how good the brainwashing is. Anytime you try to help them with some kind of sense or, 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 or rationality or, or, or reason, hey, maybe you shouldn't major in in dumbass shit like the previous two generation of women. Maybe you you go in accounting. Maybe you do. Yeah! Maybe you lose the weight and don't mutilate your face with piercings. And, I don't live for men. Like, okay, just fuck off. Go do your thing. We don't care anymore. Oh, no. Women using antidepressants the most in all of it. No one cares. No one cares anymore. The people who are awake and alive and sentient and new and had independent thought, we don't care. Oh, my God. The girls who were programmed and told not to do the thing that they were genetically, biologically evolved to do are having a little bit of friction in their life. They're having a little bit of They're having a little bit of problems handling. <clears throat> and to that, I say, you got this, ladies. You got this. Dude, dude, you don't want to be weak, do you girls? You don't want to, like, be relying on a man. You got this. Student loan, you got this. Wage gap, ain't a thing. It's because you don't work as much. You major in dumb shit. Don't worry. You got this. Oh, you can't find a man? You got this. Your prince will come. He's right around the corner. Never mind that you became exactly <clears throat> the epitomal definition of a Democrat. Whiny, lazy, debt-ridden, parasitic, fat, dumb, ignorant, and an insufferable bitch. Nope. Yeah, Hugh Jackman from 1999 is just right around that corner. And he's not going to care. You're going to vote to take 75% of his income away. You got this. Jesus, you got this. J.J. Sefton, two books. What do you call a riot of boomers? A slaughter? A slaughter? What's a slaughter? <clears throat> is that a British uh, term? And then... uh Chuck the Painter, five euros. Hey, Cappy, off topic. Just watch your old pod with Rich on sports cars. What's your opinion on old affordable roadsters like Mercedes from the 90s? I am. Um, <clears throat> I don't have an opinion. Because Rich Cooper would have the opinion on cars. I don't. I don't have a lot of cars. My specialty is finding cheap, shitty cars that last a long time to keep your transportation expense very low. Um, <clears throat> the old... I'm... I'm uh, I'm against German cars. They're over-engineered. The GF had a, a German car. And once it started breaking down, you need the special tools. And it is a fucking pain in the ass to fix those things. Oh, you want to replace the battery? Step one, remove both rear tires. What? The Germans, they're just very smart. Don't question them. They're, they're very good engineers. Okay, now... Uh, take uh, a special $8,000 wrench that you can only get made in Germany and take off the one bolt uh, to access the battery through the fuel system. What are you talking about? <clears throat> I, uh, you know, the Mercedes, like a compressor. I like the compressors. 
I, I like the way they look. I would not ever get a German car. There's some guys out there who are like, oh, I love Germany. They can wrench on beamers because they got the uh, the tools and they just like them. Uh, so if you're if you can maintain them well, sure. But no, I I do not. No, not the '90s. No. If there was a car I would get from the '90s, it'd probably be one of two things: it'd be a Mitsubishi 3000 GT, which Lord knows, good luck finding parts for that, and then an old 1995 Eagle Talon. Uh, of which I've already looked for, and I think the young people just ran those into the ground. There are very few of those uh, around, let alone standard transmission. Um, I think people watched the first Fast and the Furious, and they just burnt those out. All right, there you guys go. Uh, so besides, I'm not going to get any of those old cars. I'm going to get myself a new 2025 uh Corvette Super Deluxe GT, all on you Zoomer and Millennials taxpayer. You got to pay more in taxes. All right, link below is links to all my stuff, the books. My course is actually not joking. If you young Zoomers and Millennials, like maybe, maybe you got one eye out of with your head out of your own ass. You kind of look around, like one's got shit on this side, and the other ones you can actually see. Oh my God, the real world. Like, oh, you maybe want to get your financial shit together. <clears throat> I have link below. A bunch of courses through Teachable. Crazy, the dad you never had, which none of you had. Uh, and then, what the fuck? Oh, Achieving Financial Excellence. That's available too. Those might be of interest. I have linked to my books as well. Of interest to, to, to you Zoomers, like the millennials. I don't know. Are you millennials going to admit you're wrong? Are you millennials going to admit you're wrong? I don't care anymore. It's too late for you. Go talk to the Zoomers. The young people still have a shot. If you Zoomers would like to avoid making the mistakes the Millennials did, please go get the book, How Not to Become a Millennial. If you Millennials want to realize just how much you got fucked in the ass, go read that book too. That requires self-awareness though, not just like, I'm so intelligent and smart still. <clears throat> I have a master's degree, bail me out. Uh, and then what else? Oh, link to my subscribe star channel. If you want to have access to the road trip podcast, the archives there, it's two bucks a month. It's the super fancy hoity toity elite. You know, if enough of you subscribe to my subscribe star, I could join the boomers Corvette club of America and get some like white hair paint stain. Just get like a dye. And, like, hey, hey, well, I got to come up with a boomer name. What my new? Uh, what would a boomer name be? Um, uh, Trying to think of a really boomer name. Felix is too elite. Felix is too elite. Um, Benjamin. My name would be Benjamin. Come on, Benjamin. Hey. Ah. Fellow Corvette owners of America, you like my hair? <laughs> I only need one Viagra pill per day. Uh, so that's linked there below. You can get that the subscribe star two bucks a month. Oh, by the way, uh, Mary Jo is posing in like you know cute PG thirteen styles, among other women that used to pose back in the day when women were like, "Oh yeah, I'll send you a couple pictures. Thanks, you're really that's sweet of you. Thank you very much." Oh, and then uh, my Amazon affiliate link. Do all your shopping through my Amazon affiliate link. That's linked down below. But if you ever have, you're not going to remember this video. Like where was that? Go to olderbrother.com slash donate. Click on the Amazon banner. Do all your Amazon shopping there. And no, it doesn't cost you anything more. That's it. I'll see you guys later. Toodles.